Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. Uh, so this is the very first video of the series of th that I am actually you know, planning to start where you know I will be explaining different mitre attack techniques uh, in, through, through this whiteboard and also we will be doing some experimentation whenever it is required. So you know without any wasting any further time let's get into the subject. So we are talking about domain fronting today. So it's basically, you know, a mitre attack techniques. Uh, you will be able to find more details on the mitre website as well. So as per, you know, the definition, so domain fronting is a technique leveraged by threat actor to use high reputation domains to disguise C2 callback from both the user and security tools. So before we actually, you know, get into domain fronting, first we have to understand what is virtual hosting. So, uh, so virtual hosting is a method for hosting multiple domain names on a single server. So what does it mean? So let's say, you know, there is uh, one server and this server is actually, you know, having multiple website hosted on it. So let's say a.com, b.com, c.com, d.com. And you have to remember all these servers is actually hosted on the uh, same server. They are not having, you know, different physical servers or, you know, the virtual servers. So now there will be a client. So let's say the client wants to access uh, b.com. So for that, the client is going to send a DNS, uh, DNS query, which is for b.com. And the b.com will get resolved to the IP address of this server. Let's say 19, 20, 25, 10. And after that, when the request actually, when the client request reaches here, the server has to decide to which website it has to be redirected. So how it decides that. So it is actually done uh, via the virtual hosting, okay, virtual hosting configuration. So whenever a client actually sends a request, right, a.com or maybe google.com, it, it is going to send a raw HTTP request. And you might be already, you know, aware. So it, the raw HTTP request also has a header called host header. And there you will find the exact same domain name. So what happens is uh, when the request actually reaches this particular server, right, it is going to parse the host header and based on that, it's going to redirect the request. And once the application actually, you know, process the request it's going to uh, return the response to the client based on that. It is actually known as the virtual hosting. So now what happens is domain fronting. So let's say uh, there are, you know, hundreds of websites hosted on this particular server or provided by this particular hosting service provider and let's say uh, there is there was a problem uh, in the d.com website some attacker was able to you know compromise this website and the attacker was able to upload a malware actually uh, on this website so maybe the malware is hosted in d.com slash malware dot exe and uh, what you have to understand here uh, the you know the security solution security service providers right and or threat intelligence service provider the moment they uh, get to know that you know the d.com server is compromised and uh, attackers are using you know d.com server for you know cnc communication or you know uh, hosting malware they are going to immediately blacklist this domain so let's say there is a there is an organization this client is sitting within an organization and the organization is using a security tooling okay which is going to you know which is going to find out uh, if uh, any domain the client or any any employees trying to access is blacklisted or not so the moment the client actually sends a request to d.com slash malware it's going to block it so now through domain fronting attacker can actually block it so how does it happen so let's say uh, a.com is a you know, very high reputation uh, domain so let's say maybe you know newyorktimes.com nytimes.com and uh, this newyorktimes.com has nothing to do with you know this d.com which is not a very popular website but actually you know using the same web server to kind of you know host it so now what they're going to do is you know uh, they're going to send the, they're going to craft the um, craft the malware sample in a way that it's going to send a request to newyorktimes.com however the host header will be pointing to d.com so this is how the request will actually look like so let so this is the raw HTTP request here the host header you will actually see the malicious domain let's say d.com however the actual host will be newyorktimes.com so newyorktimesnytimes.com okay 
so now whenever the client right the client or the malware actually sends a request to um, send this request to this particular hosting service provider what will happen is the security tool that is actually you know placed here it is going to see a domain um, you know domain request you know dns request to newyorktimes.com which is an absolutely legitimate domain and it's a very high reputation domain so it's going to simply allow it however when the request actually reaches the, this particular server what happens is is going to find out this particular raw http request and you will see okay this client is looking for the for the site of d.com so now what happens is this is this server this virtual host will actually you know, redirect it to d.com and there actually the malware is hosted so now in return malware or actually you know cnc whatever it is so now what happens is it's going to return the malware or you know malicious command or malicious exe to the client so this is how an attacker can bypass you know uh, dns blacklisting whitelisting based solution to kind of you know deliver attack payloads or you know communicate with the cnc server so um, that's pretty much it what i wanted to actually you know discuss in this video uh, so i have decided to you know bring more such short videos on different mitre attack techniques on this channel so if you like the kind of content i upload on this channel request you to stay subscribed and um, yeah thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.